Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabriel and today in honor of the upcoming Valentine's Day and because it is a new month, we are going to be doing a reading for you all. Um, I'm going to be pulling from the Divine Beloved Oracle Cards by uh, Tasha Silver. These cards, um, I got these not too long ago. I actually got them for myself for Christmas and because uh, I thought they were really beautiful and they would probably be a good uh, gentle card deck to use for when we just want some loving messages from our twin flame and from the divine. Um, you know, something I do love about these deck, this deck too, is it has a change me prayer so that you can uh, use those as kind of affirmations as you pull these. So we'll go over the, the card itself and we'll look at the prayer as well. Um, I pre-shuffled, but I have not looked at these cards, so we're going to do this in real time. Um, so the first card that we have for this reading for February, for Valentine's Day, from your beloved, is Divine Assistance. I am open to receive. And the, uh, the prayer on the card says, change me, Divine Beloved, into one who is willing to receive all the right help. Let me feel deserving of divine assistance in every way. Open me to receive. And this is very important on your twin flame journey. If you are, uh, you know, trying to do this alone, it's, this is not a journey that's meant to be taken alone. Um, that's why, you know, you'll see people that like join forums and, you know, seeking help because the, the journey can be challenging. It brings up your deepest um, core upsets and wounds and traumas and asks you to heal them. And, you know, doing that alone is a monumental task and you're not meant to. We are all children of God. We're all one connect, you know, connected and we're all on the ascension journey essentially together. We, the goal is for all of us to ascend. And if you're over here trying to do your own thing, while you may make some progress, it's going to be much slower than if you had and claimed the support. Don't let yourself say, no, I have to do it my all by myself. I don't need support. I have to just do it alone. I can learn how to love myself by myself. It sounds easy and it does. And it is easy to love yourself, but you know, going through those deep things, we all need support. We all need that. And God comes through everyone, all of his children in every situation. So when you claim support from someone who knows what they're doing, has been on the journey, like an Ascension coach, or you invest in TFAST so that you, you can learn from uh, Jeff and Shalia in their classes and from the students in that in Twin Flame Ascension School, um, you know, claiming that support will, you know, tell God that this is what you want. This is the journey that you have decided to take and that you do want to support yourself and you'll receive even more support, both in uh, emotional support, but also in financial support to continue to invest in yourself and your healing. So don't build up walls, open to receiving the love and support that you need um, from God and from others who are on this journey like you. Um, so that you can make real meaningful progress. The next card is generosity. I am abundant love. And uh, this one here is, the prayer on this one is change me, divine beloved, into one who can easily send blessings to all even those filled, filled with negative negativity or fear. May I shower the planet with love, knowing that there is an unlimited ocean within me. Yeah, this is saying, you know, you don't have to be stingy with your love. You do have to respect yourself. It's important not to cast pearls before swine, right? Like don't leak your energy to another, but it's important to be generous in love with you, your twin flame, with yourself, um, with your loved ones, because you're creating a love, you know, you're creating a life full of love. And when you give yourself love, you know, ab an abundance of love, 
that's going to overflow into everything in your life. You know, if you love your job, if you love your family, you love your friends, you love your twin flame, um, not in that order, yourself, God, yourself, then your twin flame, and then everybody else. But, you know, when you give of yourself and you are generous with yourself, you love God's children, God loves you for loving what he loves. And he loves his children. He loves you. He loves uh, your twin flame. He loves all of his children. And it's important that, you know, you give in a way that's from your heart and you don't take from yourself. Uh, you fill your cup up first and you give to others. But when you connect to that source and you give God's love through, uh, through you, then that is where... Um, you know, you'll see an abundance of love start to blossom all around you. And the next card is desires. I offer all longings to you. Um, and this one's very, very romantic here. And the prayer is, change me, divine beloved, into someone who offers all longings to you. Let me feel whole, knowing all my all true needs will be handled. You are my source for all. Um, I love this card. I really do. Because this one, you know, points you to the real source of all of your desires, and that is God. And while it may seem sometimes like, oh, you're asking, oh, can I just give all my desires to God? Yes, you can and you should. That is the proper way to receive everything that you desire. Um, you don't receive what you desire by controlling and holding on to it, even if it is your twin flame. Like they are you um, and you naturally desire them, but you don't get them by, you know, clinging or pushing forward or any of that. You claim your twin flame by claiming them in your heart and giving that desire to God knowing that God wants it even more than you do. God created you both to be together and God knows the way. And all you have to do is take one step in front of the other, heal your upsets as they're presented to you, and it'll all come together as it's you know naturally meant to be and most compassionate for you. Um, you might be able to manifest your twin flame by using control and just using a bunch of affirmations, you may be able to achieve that, but you're not gonna get what you actually want. You're gonna see that control mirrored right back to you in your twin flame because you're not actually loving yourself and building that foundation when you use control. You're just pushing past yourself, pushing your actual needs and wants and desires down and saying like, I'm gonna have this the way I want it no matter what. And you're not doing it with God. And so you're not gonna get the relationship with God that is coming through your twin flame. That's what you're actually desiring. And so if you just surrender that desire, say, God, you created me. I desire my twin flame. I desire my relationship with love through you. And God knows the way. Like Just trust him with it. And, you know, he will see you through every single time. Love never fails. All right. Um, the bottom of the deck, we're going to... We're going to uh, round out the energy of the reading. Is prosperity. I am trusting. Yeah. This, this uh, journey requires a lot of faith. Um, and let me actually read you the... Um, let me read you the prayer here. Change me, divine beloved into one who knows you alone are the source of all prosperity. Let me live in gratitude, trusting every need is handled. That alone is true wealth. And that's so true. Like, um, just like the last card with surrendering your desires to God, like when you trust God with um, your good, you trust God that he has everything handled. He sees the bigger picture and he takes care of everything for you. He does the work. All you do is just, you know, take that one single baby step that he's asking you to take or heal that upset, you know, just feel your feelings and love yourself. And God does everything else. And God even does the healing. You just choose to allow love in. You choose 
to love yourself in that space. And, you know, God is the source for all of that love and all of that healing. Um, and when you're just gra grateful for everything that you have, regardless of what your um, life looks like right now, or what your journey, what your twin flame looks like right now, that is going to, you know, be the seeds for your, gar that's, you know, the gratitude and the trust that you have are the fertilizer for the seeds of your life, right? And, you know, the more you, the more you take care of your garden, the more, the more gratitude that you, you, you know, have, the more of a, an abundant life that you're going to have, the more prosperity you're going to have. And, um, you know, God will feel good giving you more because you're grateful for it. You know, you can think about it as like a, if you're a parent or if, you know, you've experienced where you've done something for someone and they're not grateful for what you've done and you feel kind of slighted, right? And God's a person, God has feelings. And um, if you are, you know, take it, God still loves you, right? God is, loves you unconditionally. But if you take from God and you're like, oh God, I don't like this. I'm not happy here. This is not what I wanted. Where, You know, like if you're just <laughs> constantly kind of shitting on everything God is giving you, um, and God's not really want, going to want to give you anything else. It's like, uh, okay, well, you know, <laughs> I gave you all these things. Like you have a home, you have a job, you have um, all these things that you can be grateful for. And even if you're in a situation where it feels really bad or it feels really rough, you still have the air in your lungs. You still have life. There's all, still all these things that you can find to be grateful for and build upon that gratitude. And God and kind, like, well, you know, will give back to you like god god gives you uh, it's not even an even like trade like you take one step towards loving god and god comes a million steps forward god is like exponentially going to love you more than you love him and that's how it's always going to be because you know god is your source god is your creator um and you know like even the smallest um you know, grain of gratitude and the smallest um, step forward into love with God is something that like is so valuable to him and he loves you so much and he wants you to choose to love him and when you choose that love and you choose to cultivate that gratitude and love for your creator he reciprocates a thousandfold a millionfold and then you receive your twin flame he comes to be with you through your twin flame and you're just your life is just so abundant all right so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more happy valentine's day and i will see you all in the next video